you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Yes, good morning to you. We are sharing truth today on the topic rich in mercy from Ephesians chapter 2, 1 through 6. You are warmly welcome to the Really, Really Knowing God channel with me, Pastor Larry Adeneko. It's our package to inform and inspire you into the real knowledge of God. And it's powered by the Pastor Larry Adeneko Center for Ejuspiration, the place. This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gemstone in the crown of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you are tired of commonplace Christianity and now want the finest quality of it, this is the place to be. Our God and Father, we give you thanks. You have helped us, God, at all times. And this morning again, we receive help from you by faith. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's uh, go back into the uh, epistles now. We are on Ephesians. Uh, we are on chapter 2 now. Ephesians 2 from verse 1. And you he made alive, who were dead in trespasses and sins, in which you once walked according to the curse of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now walks in the sons of disobedience, among whom also we all once conducted ourselves in the lots of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, just as others, but God, who is rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he had loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace are you saved, and raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Can we just stop there in, in, in verse 6, first of all, and then we may want to just go forward. So going back to verse 1 now, you, that's talking to us who are, who are reading this, who were dead in trespasses and sins, in which we once walked according to the curse of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now walks in the children of disobedience. This is loaded. It says, Christ made us alive because of his death and resurrection. Remember that we ended chapter 1 with how he was raised by the great power of God and I was trying to describe a couple of superlative uh, descriptions, you know. Um, this great power made us alive. Why? Because we were dead. Dead in trespasses and sins. And we just walked in it, we just operated in it, we just ran it like every other person. He referred to some people, it was some things that I says, according to the curse of the world. No, that was the way the world is going. According to the prince of the power of the air. This is a, this, a, this is describing, like I said the other time, principalities and powers are just mid-range, you know, spiritual forces or spiritual powers. According to the prince, so these princes or otherwise called dominions. They are the ones that actually determine things that happen in nations. And it's good for people who pray for the nation or who complain so much about the nation to have this understanding. You know, when I see some of my friends and some of my sons just go on complaining about the country, the question that comes to mind is, how well have you even prayed for this country? Is this about complaining and complaining? That's all you do. That never works. It never brings any results in the spirit realm. But when you pray, and then when you know the way to pray and pray properly, it is the person who has an understanding of the fact that it is some princes of the power of the air that run things upon the earth and upon the world. Hallelujah. Some of us will remember the story of Daniel. I spoke about the prince of Persia. That was the person controlling in that environment. That was the spirit controlling in that environment. And then he says, after the prince of Persia has gone, the prince of Grecia will come. And truly, according to history, it was the Greek empire that washed away the, the, the Persian empire. Which shows you that it's a change of, uh, of offices um, in the spirit realm. Change of princes in the spirit realm that reflected upon the earth here. And it happens everywhere also. Nigeria as well as every other nation. Some princes there trying to cause problems there. But you see, unless we have those eyes and understand those things and pray accordingly, we may be at it for a long time, grumble and whine and complain and all the rest of it. Where Whereas, like we spoke about the power of the church when, as we concluded chapter 1, as we concluded the power of the, talk about the power of the church, 
use your your knowledge of the word of God, your knowledge of God to change things around. May God grant us understanding in Jesus mighty name. We walked according to the course of this world, the way the world is running. But you see, the way the world is running is determined by some princes of the power of the air. That's what the Bible describes. It says the spirit who now walks in the children of disobedience. So this spirit actually not only walks upon a whole nation, walks in people. It makes people misbehave. It makes people cheat. It makes people uh, oppress other people. It makes people misgovern. It makes people do all kinds of things. So it's important for you as a child of God to understand this and, and operate accordingly. One of the problems we have is that only very few people have this understanding. But if we have a critical mass that have this understanding and that critical mass is praying together, we will see how things will change. In this place may God grant us understanding in Jesus mighty, and that is why the knowledge of God is so very important not the pseudo knowledge type of a thing now not not uh, not the featherweights kind of knowledge now knowing God well knowing God properly knowing God deeply hallelujah and then the things that God has put in place you really can put them together and get things to happen in the world here yeah, particularly in your own nation may God help us in Jesus name it describes what we did when we were all children of disobedience. It's not quite our, our, our stuff. It's for people who are still doing it, you know. But it says we operated in fulfilling the desires of the flesh, of the mind, and we are by nature the children of wrath. But the one that concerns us is the one that says, God, who is rich in mercy. Hallelujah. I want to talk about this God who is rich in mercy. Do you believe that some people who don't know God actually go ahead and refer to God as God of no mercy? It should rain fire on some people. <laughs> it's lack of knowledge of God. The Bible says God is rich in mercy. You cannot describe that same person rich in mercy, refer to him as God of no mercy. Incidentally, the same people who refer to God as God of no mercy, they are praying for the mercy of God upon themselves. But you see, the God of no mercy upon some other human beings. May God grant us grace in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible talks about his great love wherewith he has loved us. When we were dead together, when dead in trespasses, like we said earlier on that we read, he says, he did what? He made us alive. Quicken, that says in Queen James, made us alive. Hallelujah. By grace, how you say, made us alive in Christ Jesus, even though we were dead. But that power that brings back from death to life, that brings from the lowest point to the highest point, operating in us, made us together to come alive together in Christ. And then goes on to describe a couple of other fantastic things that I'm going to go into the next time we are in the episodes. I think it's a convenient place for us to round off this morning and to wish you a very, very wonderful uh, Sunday by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Just before you go, I would like you to remember, again, please to subscribe if you haven't done so up till this time. Hallelujah. And then to like this video, to share this video, drop your comments in our comment uh, uh, area of it all. And remember to press the notification bell if you would like to be notified when our posts come up. One more time. Great Sunday, great week ahead.